first of all, what I need you to do is settle down, don't panic, a bacterial bloom is easy to take care of, and after this video, you're gonna feel much, much better. I promise, okay? Are we calm? Then let's go. So a bacterial bloom can happen both in a new tank setup and in an established tank. But for both, the solution is gonna be the same, which is don't panic, okay? Stick with me throughout the whole video because I'm gonna cover both scenarios. First, we need to discuss two types of bacteria that live in our tanks, heterotrophic and autotrophic. I know, those are big words, but I'm gonna make this very simple, y'all know me. The biggest differences are heterotrophic bacteria feed on organic matter, like poop, uneaten food, dead fish, dead plants, anything organic in your water. They basically mineralize or break down all the organic matter into ammonia. Aha! Now we know where the ammonia comes from. Well, besides from the fish themselves, but anyway. We're gonna call these the cloud-causing bacteria. Autotrophic bacteria, on the other hand, feed on inorganic matter like ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. I'm sure you guys are more familiar with this type. We'll call these the beneficial bacteria. Easy, right? Probably 90% of bacterial blooms happen during a new tank setup, and this is perfectly normal also known as a bacterial blossom. This happens because of the nutrient-rich new tap water you just added to your tank. The organic matter in that water causes the cloud-causing bacteria to grow and rapidly reproduce. And when I say rapid, I mean like minutes. In about 15 to 20 minutes, they can double in numbers. These are the type of bacteria that we don't want in excess in our tanks, why? because this bacteria actually does live in the water column and they reproduce so rapidly, once there's so many of them, they can be seen by the naked eye in your water. They are that milky white fog in your tank, the bacterial bloom. Not only do they feed on the organics in your fresh new dechlorinated water, but if you have fish in the tank already while it's cycling, they also feed on the organic waste from the fish. You know, their poop. The good news is, is that the solution to getting rid of these cloud causing bacteria during a new tank bacterial bloom is simple. Do nothing. That's right. No water changes, no additives, no chemicals needed. Water changes are actually going to make the cloud causing bacteria left over in your tank reproduce even faster when you add in new nutrient rich water again and the bacterial bloom will just return. You'll just be resetting the bloom every time. With time, as your tank cycles, your beneficial bacteria, which is the nitrifying bacteria we do want in excess, will eventually grow and starve the cloudy water causing bacteria away. Problem solved. Now, if you're experiencing a bacterial bloom and your tank is already established, meaning you've had it up and running with fish for a few months, and you know that for sure your tank has been cycled, and all of a sudden you get a bacterial bloom, yeah, this one's a bit more tricky. Before we get into that, let me quickly remind you guys to hit that like button if you've been finding this video helpful. If you haven't, then okay, just keep watching. Hit the like button later, I don't know. In case you might have been wondering what kind of fish these are, these are African cichlids and they're much easier to keep than you think. I've created a free webinar with the top three secrets about keeping these fish and you can go check it out right now. I'll put a link up here and in the description below. Bacterial bloom in an established tank means that something is out of whack with your ecosystem in your tank. Some organic compound in excess has found its way into your tank and now the cloud causing bacteria are back and doing that funny bunny thing again. This could be caused by overfeeding, maybe you came home a little bit and the guys got a little more to eat than usual. Well, if a bunch of onion food got trapped under a rock or maybe behind a piece of decor or something, this extra organic matter can cause a bacterial bloom. Or maybe you added too many fish at once causing more fish poop to accumulate in your tank. Or even worse, you could have a dead fish somewhere and not even know it. These organic decomposing materials can cause a bacterial bloom. The issue for concern this time though is that we probably have a bunch of fish in our established tank already, right? When a bacterial bloom occurs, you can get a spike in ammonia from all the organics that the bacteria is feeding on and mineralizing into ammonia. And we all know that ammonia is deadly to our fish. Problem is our good guys, the beneficial bacteria, need way more time to reproduce and catch up to the increase in ammonia. The free floating cloud causing bacteria are also gonna heavily deplete the oxygen in the tank as well as they become aerobic during a bloom. These guys can switch from aerobic and anaerobic. Unlike the good guys we like in our tanks, the autotrophic beneficial bacteria. Those guys are just aerobic. Hopefully I didn't lose anybody there, but I find this stuff fascinating. If you're still a little confused, let me know in the comments below and we'll discuss it. 
So in this situation, I recommend dosing your entire tank's volume with Seachem Prime to detoxify that ammonia spike, keeping your water safe for the fish and giving your beneficial bacteria more time to grow and take care of it. The cloud causing bacteria is also going to fight for all the oxygen in your tank. The cloudier it gets, the more oxygen it's going to use up. And since you have fish in the tank, I also recommend making sure you have adequate surface agitation for oxygen transfer. If you already did, you may want to add more during the bloom. My preferred method of surface agitation, you guys should know already, is wave makers. And I got a great video right there on wave makers, make sure to check that out. Now at this point is when you need to find that underlying cause of the bloom. If it's excess food or waste in your tank, time to vacuum that stuff out. If it's a dead fish or dead plants, you gotta scoop that stuff up and get it out of the tank as well. Once you've removed whatever extra organic material caused the bloom, then all you need to do is wait. The heterotrophic or cloud causing bacteria will soon starve and die off and you'll be back to having crystal clear water in no time. If you found this video helpful, guess what? I have plenty more where that came from. So make sure you subscribe right here. And after you do that, check out one of these two videos that I also think you'll enjoy. Wherever you end up, I'll see you on the other side.